Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Yes, we are now in the Tesla week basically. I have bought the Tesla yesterday and I was waiting the whole day to yeah, make some adjustments in the app to do like um, certain tasks. Of course, they want information and it was not coming up. And well, if you have watched my last videos, I now had a reason to update my iPhone's software to the latest one because that was the reason why I have not received any tasks to fulfill in the Tesla app. So updating your phone and then it popped up. Okay, so I already did one thing in the beginning. I have uploaded my driving license and included my information. So that is complete. I hope they don't um, yeah, have problems with that because I still have my German license and I'm buying this car in Sweden. Okay, so now the next option is, do I have a car to trade in? No, I don't. Okay, like I'm doing this right now on the video going through these steps because I have not really found too many people that have recorded this procedure. Okay, so now, are you planning to finance your vehicle? Yes, that's what I'm doing. That's now the important thing. Um, a loan or a loan with rest value? I think it was the loan with rest value because yeah, 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 it was. It was loan with rest value. Okay, let's see. I can choose now between different banks. Which one is the best bank? Oh man, I don't know. I will actually Google that before I continue. Okay guys, there's a huge cut between the last scene and right now because I just right now had to choose my way of financing. And of course, this is not something that you just do like easy peasy during the video. It took me, yeah, at least 40-50 minutes to really think about everything and of course the bank that I am I have now sent my request to get a car loan of course they also wanted to have information of, about me like how am I planning to pay the money is it like from my salary and things like this and now I have yeah sent away this request there were actually two banks in Sweden that you could choose it was DNB and Santander and I have read into it and well I wasn't 100% sure because people said about the Santander bank that this one might decrease your interest rate if it drops however the, the DNB bank they could also just say like no we keep it like this and we don't decrease it and well in the end I chose the DNB bank first of all because it's in the Scandinavian area and a lot of people choose that bank just because it is here and it is more digital than Santander and Santander is also a Spanish bank so we will see how this goes in the next yeah months because I will openly talk with you about all of these I will not talk about my financing thing right now because first of all it has not been approved and second of all yeah I want to make a specific video about what I have chosen so for now let's see I have now sent this away let's see if I can continue in the Tesla app credit decision pending okay so now we we cannot continue until they have approved my yeah request of receiving a loan and uh, not a loan I always say loan is it no it is loan in English is it credit you know what I mean okay and then provide registration details okay ah <sighs> yes it is okay we have reached the end for right now now it's time to wait if they approve or not wow that was another roller coaster I have not expected this to be as exciting as yesterday I know I have not recorded it for you guys but it was again stressful for me to be honest that is it i have updated my iphone now i can actually also check <laughs> what has improved i can download my banking app i can download kivra which is a digital mailbox yeah and then i will see if i want to yeah get more features on this phone or not but i think i want to keep it old school so that is basically all for today nothing crazy going on I, I don't want to talk about too much of my daily life because this right now is just really in my head but I want to share this experience with you guys <sighs> yeah okay enough said 
I will talk to you hopefully sooner or later with the result of this payment. But until then, I hope you had a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.